Hi, good morning everyone. Julesy here from Julesy Designs and JT Creations. Welcome to Jazz Up Your Junk Trifolder Part 5. Now this is where we finish it off. So we'll just go over again what we've done. We've backed it all. Um, what I did was I put the pocket in there. I didn't... Um, stick it down at the side so that there was a a slit there because what I did was I backed it on cardboard but there is some coffee dyed paper in there for, for notes I've added some labels I was going to um, cover this but I quite liked the, the envelope colour, the, the, the craft card so what I did was I just stamped it with telegram stamp, an invoice stamp and some bits and pieces. Um, I put a stamp on here and it's just brushes, art brushes and things um, and that just fits in there. Here I did put one here because this one kept flapping open. I haven't done that yet because I'm still swithering whether to um, stick it down here and have a pocket behind it as well as this pocket here um, we've got the pocket there we've got the pocket there and we've got this pocket here and I did stamp that with the same brushes and that was the last bit of vellum I had left and I just folded it up and placed it in there and I quite like the way that um, has turned out. I did take the the string from that um, because it, it wasn't allowing it to, to close flat. Okay, so what I want to do here is I want to put some kind of belly band. Now, this is a, a box of tissues top. And what I thought is we would put that there I have I don't have acetate to put behind it but I do have it's just packaging from the stamps I've got so I'll just place that under there but also what I wanted to do was I wanted to put like a, a, a like an interwoven sort of like fence um, if you like so we need to do that first but what I will do is we will cut the paper out to, to put on the top. Now the paper I've chosen is another Pink Monarch paper. There you can see I've not done it very well, but that's fine. You won't worry about that. Now I just want to measure this to try and get the middle. So it's 15. So half of 15 is seven and a half. So that's that way. And then half of seven, so that's three and three quarters. I'm just, so I've got a seven and a half and three is ten and a half and three quarters that's about that so that's roughly so what I want is I don't know whether to do it like that 
What to do with like that? That that would just give two, wouldn't it? So if we do it in between that one, in between that one, and in between that one, yep. So I'm just going to cut three pieces first, the same. I might as well do six. Now I don't think there's a, a top or a bottom, uh, a top side or a bottom side for this. I don't think it matters. And then we'll do. Oh. In between, we'll do in between, in between, and I'll just put them on. Now what I do want to do is I want to put the the plastic packaging on to give it that window effect and then anything you put behind it isn't going to disturb the ribbon otherwise you would have had to put tape on it and I don't have any masking tape left so I think we'll do this side. Right, so what we're going to do, missed a bit. What we're going to do is stick the belly band in. I think the, I'm just yeah, I think that looks nice. Just three. I think we'll put three either down one side or down at the bottom, whichever. And 
I mean, you can buy um, sort of like paper flowers that look quite realistic if you, you know, don't want to make your own, if you don't have a punch. Or you can just put butterflies. Um, you can get butterflies out of the, the garden books and insect books. Just make sure I'm putting this up the right way because there's newspaper writing on this. And it is. No, just hold in that down there. So that's quite nice. And I've got a, a tag here, although I think this is too big. This this one I've got to go in. And it's just from the postcard set. So we'll put that in there. And it's just cereal box. And I'm not going to do anything with that. Um, because it's ideal for journaling. So we'll put that in there. Um, and we've got this one. So there you can... That's quite nice. Um... I think we got this to go in to this one. Yep, yeah, we've got tabs to go on them as well. Um, these I want to cover. And I'm going to cover them in this. Now this is just um, it's a hotel um, key card because they write your door number on. They don't usually take them back. They weren't that bothered. Um, so I am going to coat this in, and I will put a little bit of. Um, fabric tack on as well because it is again it's a glossy surface That's it. put a bit around the the bit that's going to fold around the edges now two So he gets quite good deals. Um, put this one on here. Treasure. Because whatever you put in it is a treasure. some skinny ones um, I think actually quite like that there I don't want to poke about with it too much because I've just stuck it in right so if we put that there And that there, that will just keep it nice. Got that one there. <clears throat> I 
Nope. So we've got some other cereal boxes. Oh, we've got a tag here. This one is for this. We've got one in there, one in there. Um, we've got a bit of a cereal box here, but I've got this for here. Again, it's another, it's another card. Um, that was when we stayed at the Almond, Almond Sweet Hotel last year before last for a wedding. Uh, I want just a little tag no. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this one. We'll cover some of this up with tea bag. I've been wanting to use this tea bag for ages. Normally I would rip it, but and use gel medium or Mod Podge, um, watered down Mod Podge to put it in. And we'll put this one on adventure because that goes more with the map and that'll sit right over there Just sit with that and then we're going to ink round it again I'm not doing anything with the backs um, if you do one you can put it I do have lined paper um, and you could put lined paper, but sometimes what I do is I'll just get a ruler and I'll just, just draw lines or get some um, corrugated paper and ink over it and then just put it down and it makes like stressed lines. So I'm not really bothered about I like the, the ink on the, the tea bag, it makes the map look quite old. I'll put this in here. I'm, I might round the corners on that. I might have to take a little bit off because that's a tight fit. So we can take some off. A little bit off. Oh, 
set. Put that one over there. So we've just got this one to do. So what we're going to do on this one, oh, put that back. So again, I think what I might do is I might just put a paper fold in there or another envelope with paper in because if you if I put too much cereal box in um it will make it quite hard so I think we'll leave it at that I am just going to check these it's still coming off them so I do think they look quite cute now they've got the yellow centers. But I don't want them to get interfere with that flap, so I think they're probably better off up here. So that's where we'll put them. And I have um, a couple of ephemera making videos coming up. Um, see, that's going to stick that, that's going to put that down, and we'll put the little butterfly. I think this was from when I was doing my autumn album. Um, I did some leaves and butterflies and then embossed them with embossing powder and they turned out really well. Right, so that's that. So maybe I won't get a journal in the middle of it. <laughs> but anyway, if you enjoy what you see and you would like to see more, please subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, leave a question in the comments below. I will get back to you. I do appreciate all my subscribers, uh, newbies um, and, and oldies. Um, I appreciate anybody that just pops in to watch my videos. So once again, bye from Cyprus.